right here at the McClure Amphitheater at 1 p.m. and 2 p.m. Yeah! The age doesn't matter in the show. It's like you can have tall, short, different skin color. Hi, I'm Layla Sky. Hi, I'm Sarah. The little sisters in the bungalow, but it kind of makes us strong. Jasmine is representing America, and we get to heal her because we're the angels. And what I feel about being an angel is it makes me feel like I'm strong. Everybody gets to show in front of everybody that what they could do. I like that you can just be you. I'm Winston. I'm Dez. I'm Anaya. I'm There's a lot of problems going on, and people don't think children realize it, but we're the main ones looking at it. My part in the show is more about respect and grace and how you're supposed to rely on where you're doing and where you're going and what you're doing. I feel like my singing part in the show, it, like, it's supposed to be telling you like what's going on. We need to like get this better. And then in my solo with my duet with Winston, I feel like it's showing what uh, African-American men are going through. I think that our duet means that people need to have respect for each other. Even when they get in a fight sometimes, they still need to help each other out. My part's about comparing to your children, and um, I want to, uh, Miss Kay gave me that part, and it makes me express what it, it's talking about. Can you hear me? Can you hear us? I'm Keisha. Hi, I'm Quincy. I'm Kylie Bell. I'm Ness. Hi, I'm Lee Corbett. I'm Jazz Marie, and we are the cast of Hail Change Stand 2. We sound like a choir when we say that. We do. I love my part because I'm the healer, and I find that I'm very nurturing, so I thought that was kind of cool. I thought it was really cool yeah. that Miss K connected me to like the healer because I was like, I love nurturing people. Mm -hmm. And then, like, and like, I feel like I have a connection to you for some odd reason. Yeah, but I, I love that. it. When we walked up together, yes! I felt that, yeah. Like, I seen you dance one time at rehearsal. Yeah, it was at company class. And, like, I don't know, you were, like, really feeling your dance. And, like, yep. you start crying. And then I got emotional. And I was like, I don't think it's allowed for me to run up there and hug her. I think she has to dance through it. And then Miss Kay was like, no. work with the dance. Dance through it. I was like, that's what you're supposed to do. <laughs> but, yeah. I think I like how, like, she put us all in perfect groups where, like, everyone can, like, feed off each other energy. Like, I feed off her energy really well. Like, the first time we met, I was just like, oh, yeah. new friend, she's mine. <laughs> it's almost like yes. with each, like, different person, you take yeah. something new, and it's, like, crazy because, like, yeah. she, like, specifically makes you pair up with, like, each person. And it's, like, insane how much you can feed to each other and, like, take away from each other. Absolutely. I like the fact that she paired uh, us two together. I think it brought a lot out of both of us. Yeah. I think we both was at that stage where it was like we don't really know each other, yeah. we didn't know what to expect, and then we started dancing with each other and kind of just grew a bond. Yeah, it happened just yeah. like naturally. That. Yeah, it, like brings you out of your comfort zone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like, yeah. it's like a comfortable yeah. feeling because it brings you out. Like it's weird. To yeah, explain, it's because yeah. like usually, yeah. usually when I'm meeting new people, it like takes a while. But I feel like it didn't take as long to like get to know you guys as it did. Yeah, because it was so many of us yeah. just meeting you. Kind of just came like a bond. What do y'all think about the choreography and the direction of the show? I'm gonna be 
honest, when she was first teaching us to it, I was, I was telling her, I was like, girl, <laughs> this right here. But it's really amazing. Like, it brought a lot out of me that I didn't know I had in me. Yeah. So it made me try new things I wasn't really comfortable with. Yeah. So. I think that through your movements, you have to tell a story. And I think with this choreography, it tells the story that the music is trying to tell as well. And it all fits together. Because if you're, it's one thing to go up there and just move around, but it's another thing to connect it back to the music. And I think that it works really well with this piece. I connect with like what she said, like it gets us to push ourselves and for us to actually feel it. And like when you feel it, you push your energy out to other people. So I really like that we can feel it. She makes like the most intricate things so powerful. Yes. Yeah. And like, I was just like, when I'm doing this and I'm doing this, I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm feeling it. And I just, something. <laughs> yeah. People should come out and see the show. See the diversity that we build on each other and see the real world problems and like what goes on around here. Kind of understand what happens because a lot of people don't um, get that. Yeah, it's true. Maybe like it'll be like a different message to some people. They'll get it. Yes. Yeah, I like that. I think like it's gonna be so great to create a conversation. I feel like this is like an entire vibe, mm -hmm. an entire mm -hmm. mood, and I just feel like it's gonna break down some barriers for some. And another thing, uh, Miss Kay's dance bungle. We work hard and put everything into all we do. So no matter what show it is, you should always be there. But especially this one because we're all coming together as a family, and we want you to join our family too. Right here at the McClure Amphitheater at 1 p.m. and 2 p.m. PDA!